off the rails. We are going to finish today by talking about how we should tell others about God's love. Before we ride into today's Bible story, here's a question I want each of you to answer. If you want season passes to begin again to your favorite theme park, who would be the first person you would tell? Wow, those are all great answers. It sounds like we all love to tell others good things that happen to us. During this series, we've learned about how great God's love is for us. That's the most exciting news of all, and we should tell others about it. Let's check out more in this video from Kids Spring. Hello there, and welcome to my Imaginarium. I'm Will Winnegan, third cousin twice removed to Phil Finnegan himself. I am so glad you are here today, and we have lots of other guests that will be joining us too. They're with my number one assistant, Carl, right now, and they'll be here soon. Since I'm waiting for Carl and our friends, I've been going through some old inventions of mine. Boy, it's been fun. Ah, oh yes, the Begin Again Remote. This was one of my favorite inventions of all time. I invented a switch that makes rides begin again as soon as they stop. I thought it was a brilliant idea, but my cousin Phil wouldn't let me introduce it to the park. He said he had a special plan for my switch, but he never told me what it was. Hmm. Anywho, I still have the master remote to control it if things ever get out of control. Ha! Smart! Well, there you are. Everyone, I would like you all to meet Larry, Gary, uh, Mary, uh, Carrie, and the crazy one, Barry. Thank you all for coming. As you probably know by now, my game ideas come from a lot of different sources, but my best source is the Bible. It's so full of crazy things, and when I get crazy game ideas, I write them all down. Up here! The other day, I was reading my Bible, and I found a great story that led to a great game, and I'm so excited to tell you about it. Hey, do you guys want to help? Ready? Break! Now here's a story from the Bible about a time God gave Peter a very important job to do. There was a man named Cornelius who was a Roman army officer. He and his entire household believed in God, but they were not Jewish. One afternoon, an angel of God appeared to him. What's up, man? The angel wanted Cornelius to send some men to Joppa to find Peter. Send for Peter! As soon as the angel left, Cornelius sent two of his servants and a soldier to Joppa to get Peter. Hurry guys, hurry! Cornelius' messengers were getting close to Joppa. At the exact same time, Peter was praying. While Peter was praying, he saw a vision. It looked like a large sheet with animals in it was being let down by its four corners. Then Peter heard a voice. Get up, kill, eat! Peter answered, I have never eaten anything not allowed by Jewish law. Uh, hold on guys. You see, there used to be a very strict law about what Jewish people could and could not eat. Animals like cows were okay, but certain animals, such as pigs, were not okay to eat. Now, where were we? Uh, oh yeah. She with animals coming down, voice told Peter, get up and kill, eat, and then Peter said to the voice, I've never eaten anything not allowed by Jewish law. Uh, okay. The voice spoke again. If God says something is allowed, don't say it isn't. Peter was very confused by this vision. Huh? But right then, the Holy Spirit said, Three men have come to find you. Go with them, for I have sent them. The men spent the night, and the next morning they all left Joppa and went to Cornelius' house. Cornelius and his relatives and close friends were waiting to meet Peter. Peter! What's up, homie? Peter told them that it was against Jewish law for him to enter a non-Jewish home, but he explained how God had shown him that it was okay now. So Peter told Cornelius, his family, and friends about Jesus. He explained how Jesus died on a cross and was raised to life three days later, and he explained all of the great things about God's love. While Peter was talking, the Holy Spirit came upon all who heard the message, so Peter baptized them in the name of Jesus Christ. And... See, Great job, everyone! Let's give them a hand! Now, before God showed Peter the vision about the animals, Peter had always viewed people who were not Jewish as different than him. He did not tell them about Jesus because it was against the Jewish law for him to go to their house. But God changed that rule. God wants everyone to know about his love and about his son Jesus. Just like Peter told others about God's love, 
we can tell others about God's love too. What a great way to enter off the real series. Be thinking about who you can share God's love with this week. In the meantime, let's say our memory verse together one last time. Ready? Love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30. Awesome job, everybody. See y'all next week as we start our brand new series called On The Go.